So I'm here getting my pap smear and also checking on my IUD and see how it's going up there. They gave you so much time to change, like undress yourself in here. Oh, there's your pimple. I feel like I'm honestly always waiting for like 15 minutes. It takes me one minute to get my clothes off. Not even, like 30 seconds. Like 10 seconds. I'm wearing like this coat thing because they have to like touch my breasts and see how they're doing. If there's any signs of cancer, then they have to look inside my vagina again. I have a nice little blanket to keep me warm. Hopefully everything's good up there. Literally, I've been waiting for like 20 minutes. Not cool. Pimple so annoying. Go away. No one likes you. <laughs> yeah, I've never gone to pep smear before. Okay. Now does change your medical No, life. yeah, everything's the same. Thing, my diva cup. Okay. And I was wondering if that ever has like an effect on the string. It should, and I yeah. would be careful, right? It doesn't get caught up in your tap foot. Oh, yeah. the cervix is here. Yeah. Okay, like, let's say this is the tip of your cervix. Okay. It's going to here. That yeah. cup is going to be kind of rounded. So yeah, it's, it's not like touching the walls right. or anything like that. I just like if you put your finger around around the, the cup to get rid yeah. of sure like the strings are in like with it. So yeah. Just push it up slowly. It be yeah. Cool. So. It's because, I mean, is it hard to get the IUD out of your cervix, or does it take, is it like, I mean, you it's not, it forth, you'd have right. to really try to pull so, it out, yeah. right? It's a, yeah, it's not going to fall out. It's going to be kind of painful for people. Okay, so. yeah, okay, good to know. <laughs> doesn't go through um, the cervix though, right? No, 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 no. So okay, yeah. Goes, yeah. I guess so just so we can get to the oh, cervix. Oh, okay, okay. And then we get our sample. Okay, so yeah, it's like similar like the IUD. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, 20 <laughs> seconds is so fast. <laughs> All right, let me scooch a little more towards me. Okay. You're not currently suffering from any fevers or chills? No, or chills nothing or like that. Yeah, I feel a little bit of a game. Yeah, I was just like, wow. Clear, like, that's the clear egg whitish consistency. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Okay. It's the clear whitish. We just don't want the yellow green. Oh, color. no. Okay. Oh, no. Be touching here. Don't okay. Those legs on the pressure here. Let's okay. Yeah, more pressure you're going to feel here. A little more pressure, so then I'm trying to get around. Oh, yeah, I can. Ooh, so, yeah. yeah, I can so feel I see that. The strings. I don't see the tip hanging out, so it looks to be good. Okay. okay, I need to feel pokes here now as I start getting this tap. And one last poke. Now, these brushes are soft, but they can be a little irritating the first time around for pep. So, yeah. just if you see a little spot, don't be alarmed, they'll go away. Okay, <laughs> so that's what you just checked, that ID. Okay. I see the strings, I don't see the tip hanging out. You know, it's the first couple of months is the biggest time that it could expel. So, mm, kind of yeah. So sometimes you can see, like, the yeah, I heard someone out. yeah on YouTube say there's yeah, like fell I've out. Seen it, so. <laughs> Coco gel pressure here. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, um, the uterus is a muscle, so it wants to push up the knot. Yeah. All right, so I can feel your strings there. Yeah. Okay. All right, feels normal there. Go ahead and push back. All set. Oh well, it was fast. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> So the IUD check went well. The IUD is still in my uterus. I treated myself to some Starbucks because I was such a good girl in the doctor's office. I got a medicine ball. If you guys don't know what a medicine ball tea is, it is literally heavenly. Mint tea with tangerine tea, I think it is. And then it's like part lemonade. And they also put honey in it, but I said no honey because honey is not vegan. 
I was telling my doctor how um, sore my legs were. Like my legs were shaking because she's like, come closer, come closer. And I'm like trying to pull my body closer to her. And my legs were like, oh, like wobbly. It's like, dude, the gym has been kicking my ass lately. I've been going every single day for the last like five days. Oh, my poor little thighs. They're so beat up from the gym. But yeah, I was like, she's like, open your legs. And I was like, Ugh. like dying. I was like, I can't open them anymore. They hurt. My doctor also gave me a pap smear because I haven't gotten one yet. And I'm 24 years old. So I got one. It checks to see if you have any cancer. If I get those results, I think in two weeks. And then she touched my boobs touch your boobs like you know rub around your boob to see if there's any um tumors cancer you know all that stuff and she's so funny she's like I'm so sorry my hands are cold so she was like warming them up <laughs> I mean I actually felt kind of comfortable with her because like I know her I've known her for a while but still it's like kind of funny she was like so how's acting going and I'm just like you know it's going pretty well and she's just like rubbing around my nipple but yeah, it was very fast. It was like a 20 second pap smear, honestly. I thought pap smears were like 20 minutes, but no, they're literally 20 seconds. And yeah, there was like a little pressure, but it wasn't painful or anything. She said she was like poking me in there and I was like, I don't feel anything. So um, yeah, that was interesting. So for the ladies that are scared about getting a pap smear, my experience was great. Just like my IUD experience. Um, but yeah, the pap smear is so much easier. Like, it's so much faster. It's just like, bada boom, bada bang, you're in, you're out. And that's that. I asked her some questions, you know, like, oh, the Diva Cup, does it affect the string? And she says, no, like, honestly, you're, it's not like your string is, like, rubbed against your wall. Like, she's like, the chances of it coming out is not likely. Um, you'd have to, like, pull it out, like, purposely, like, want to pull out your string. Um, it's happened to some girls, but it's not common. I didn't mention the discharge to her. I was like, girl, my discharge is cray. No, it's not really crazy. I don't want people to think I'm like flowing down there like a river. But it is a lot, 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 lot. It's not a river. It's more like a little um, like squishy puddle. But it's not even like that. It's like, I don't know. It's just more discharge than I'm used to. And I told her I get it. I get it. I signed up for this and I'm okay with it. It's not affecting my life. I just, I just, I've just been seeing some more. I've just been seeing some more. So I know guys, I keep on looking at my screen when the camera's there, but I like to see how I look when I talk to you. So I'm sorry. It's the early morning. It's like 10, 15. And yeah, I got my IUD check. It's solid. I got my pap smear. It's so far solid until I get the results. I mean, it was easy for me. It was an easy experience for me. I'm going to be going to the gym now. And I'm going to be meeting up with my friend Connie in Laguna Beach. And we're going to have some lunch. And no, I did not have breakfast today. And you guys know how much I love breakfast. Breakfast is my biggest meal of the day. Did not have breakfast. I decided sleep was more important. So... I literally got out of my bed, put some clothes on, and went to my appointment. <sighs> but you betcha, I'm gonna have a huge, huge lunch. I'm really trying to make this channel a non-anxiety channel. So, um, I don't know if non-anxiety is a word, but you get what I mean. I want this to be positive, and I want this to be uplifting. I want to help y'all out too you know you guys are my people the people that are watching this I care about you that is why I am taking my phone with me into the office while I'm getting my pap smear who takes their phone to get an IUD inserted inside them like who takes their phone with them to get that procedure done not that many people I did that because I thought hey a lot of people want to know. They're curious. I'm trying to take my phone out more in public. I know you guys have been seeing me behind my desk for most of my videos or at home. I'm trying to like vlog more in life. 
like in the world. Oh, look, there's Starbucks. But yeah, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to get on that grind. If you guys literally have any questions or have any um, issues that you need to share or whatever, let me know. I love helping people. It's like I, everyone says I'm such like a... I'm such a helpful person like people feel very comfortable opening up to me so if you want to open up to me please do I also apologize for how crappy the sound is with the picture it's because of the phone I'm using it is really bad at connecting the sound and the face and the everything so don't get frustrated please my real phone got stolen and so I'm using this phone my best to make you guys happy I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.